Hi everyone, welcome back to the construction company. Today, we've been hired by a property owner here in Griffin, Indiana. We're going to be hauling in a mobile home, building a gravel pad, doing the electric and the water hookup. It's going to be a full day's project. I stopped by a local gas station on the way to a job site here. I did notice when I left the yard that the compactor was low on diesel, so I got that filled up. I did grab a few snacks and a lunch, so I should be good to go. So let's hop in the Cummins. Let's get over and get the job started. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button. It's much appreciated. Today's job, guys, has many parts to it here. We have to build a gravel pad for the mobile home. We have to build a gravel driveway here. We have to do the water hookup, the electrical uh, hookup, which means digging trenches and so many little things uh, to this. And then we have to haul the mobile home about 25 miles from a farm where the uh, owner bought it over to his new property. So it's going to be a lot of fun, though, and uh, definitely some uh, pretty exciting new mods we are using in today's video. All right, we're coming up on the job site here. It's this half acre lot in town here. Luckily, the gas station wasn't too, too far uh, from here. Why don't we get parked up here? I do want to get those ramps lowered here. Definitely want to get the hazard lights going since I'm going to be parked in the street. But let's take a quick job walk around. For this project, I decided to bring the cat back over here. We'll be able to do all the work with the gravel, and then we can switch and uh, dig those trenches there. But look at that, guys. Looks like the public works came in probably within the last few days uh, since I was last here. So this will be the driveway entrance here, and then the mobile home is going to be off to the right uh, as well here. And then we have the big Kenworth over there. Wow, that is full gravel there. But why don't we hop here in the backhoe? I want to get right to work here. I want to see if we could get it done even a little bit earlier than what I was expecting here because the customer asked if he could uh, uh, stop by when it was done here and I definitely want to give him a call saying we finished it even uh, uh, ahead of schedule by an hour or two here but let's go in the backhoe on removing this here. I first just want to lay in the uh, driveway here with dirt and then we'll get going on the pad off to the side. Now the backhoe is quite handy here, we can use it for so many different things as you guys can see here today and uh, this is going to work well for us. It might be a little bit on the bigger side, maybe a little bit smaller backhoe, uh, but this will get the job done here for us and we have several construction projects coming up as well on the schedule which I'm super excited for. All right, guys, we got the dirt driveway in, so we just have to put gravel on top of it. I did go down an extra two, three inches, removed all the topsoil, so we are ready for the base here. But like I mentioned, guys, the mobile home is going to be off to the right, so we have to go from right about here. It is about 20 feet wide here, so let's just count the uh, steps with my boot, which is just about a foot. So right about here, and then it's going to be 55 feet here. It's a pretty big pad. We need to make sure it is very strong here. We don't want the mobile home... Uh, shifting uh, because that could cause cracking to the walls and structural damage which would not be a good thing here but let's get going on this because this is going to be most of the work even uh, the excavation parts here let's keep going yeah this is perfect here maybe having teeth on the bucket would have helped them made it a little faster here but hey we got to make do with what we have We have to go probably another bucket, bucket and a half in width here, but we got the lanes on here, which is good. I'm just trying to make sure we don't go too far while doing enough uh, to make sure it's a nice strong base here. Now, the customer did ask us to keep all the topsoil on the job site, uh, so I'm just putting it off to the side here because it looks like he'll be using it at another one of his properties here. I'm not sure what he's going to do with this, but this is super exciting to get mobile homes here in FS22. Well, I think we're ready for gravel here. This path came out really well. Uh, in some areas, there was a little bit more topsoil, but we're down here to the perfect structural soil, so we won't have any shift in. So it's about 60 feet. I did go about five feet extra, so uh, a, a two and a half feet on either side here. But let's hop in the dump truck. Let's unload some gravel here. Probably just will make a bunch of small piles all over. Might try tailgating. Just has to see. Uh, but uh, let's get to unloading the gravel. Thank you. 
Guys, I think I unloaded a little bit too much there, but hey, we have the backhoe. It will just be a little bit more work uh, to go here, but you guys can see we have about two piles. Uh, but where we need the gravel the most, I guess we do have the big pile here, so no need to worry there. And like I mentioned, this backhoe has a pretty big bucket here, but there is a lot of gravel work that has to be done here. We have to go over it with a compactor. And this is probably going to be an hour or two's worth of work here, but we have to do it right. And that way, uh, we don't have any problems going down the road. And the customer uh, has a nice uh, pad for his mobile home. But you guys can see this is gravel mixed with a little bit of stone dust here to give it that extra structural support, uh, which this is actually what they use for building roads here. So I thought this would be perfect for the customer. And uh, this was also uh, what he... Uh, I agreed to when I did discuss all the different gravels we can use here. Just finishing up some fine tuning here. I think for the most part we did a pretty good job with this. Why don't we move the backhoe off to side here. The last thing we have to do before we could bring in the mobile home is just to run it over with the play compactor just to smooth it out and have it nice and compact. Working with the construction company is a lot of fun here. We get to use some pretty neat equipment just like this one here. And uh, most of these projects are quite big here. But you guys can see we are definitely compacting it out here. Moving some material, which is definitely a good thing here. I want it nice and level and uh, nice and compact as well. But wow, guys, this is going to be awesome here. So uh, let's see here. Just a few more passes. This compactor with the two rollers is really mainly for asphalt paving, which we do quite a lot of. And I actually have a job or two coming up there, so we'll be doing some of that soon here. There's just so many different jobs you do uh, with a construction company, and sometimes I don't record all the jobs I do, since uh, I do play this uh, game quite a bit off camera. But there we have it, guys. I think that's all the compacting, and wow, that turned out good here. So why don't we move this off to the side? I'm actually going to get one of my employees to drop me off there to pick up the truck, and uh, we'll meet you at the farm with the mobile home. All right, I got the mobile home hauler ready to go here with the mobile home attached. Look at that, guys. This is a 55-foot trailer here. It's about 20 feet wide. You guys can see five axles on this. So I actually had to get a permit with the county uh, to bring this down the roadway here. So that's going to be really helpful here. Definitely oversized. And we have to watch out for so many different things. We've got the uh, oversized load uh, sign on it. And this truck, guys, is custom built for hauling these. Huge, huge shout goes out to Wood Metal Farming for this here. They just released it. And let's see here. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to extend the mirrors out. That way, we can see past it here. But navigating small, narrow streets here in Griffin, Indiana is going to be quite challenging for us here. But let's get on the road. We have about 20 miles to our uh, job site. Having to take these turns nice and wide while trying to keep our main truck on the roadway here. This probably weighs, I would say, uh, maybe uh, 25 to 30,000 pounds. I don't know the exact weight, but this sure is heavy. And wow, look at that. Over the double yellow. And I'm just trying to also make sure we don't end up taking out any telephone poles or anything like that. We're going through the main part of town here. I'm actually almost in the center of the roadway here. I don't see any traffic, which is a good thing. But guys, we would be really close to even some of these mailboxes. And I don't want to be replacing quite a few of those. That gets expensive here. And uh, the town, I don't think, would be a big fan of us after doing that. But look at this thing, guys. I mean, wow. Probably needed to get a pilot truck or two, but I think the uh, local sheriff's office ended up closing down the road on either side here for us. So that worked out quite well going over the railroad tracks. Got to make sure we go over that no problem. And we're here at the job sites here. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is going to work quite well here. So let me get going on this and let's see how I'm going to back in. There's a fence on this side here. I might have to go up and over the uh, sidewalk here a few times, but we're going to have to give it a try.
All right, let's pull forward just a little bit so the uh, front door is right at the driveway there. Awesome, we'll get the uh, legs out here, the skirts on the trailer, and we'll get it disconnected here. But guys, that was probably the biggest trailer I've ever hauled here, which was quite a bit of fun here. Now, a few things here with this truck that you guys might have seen there in that video is I could actually slide this back and forth, which really helped out with maneuvering this trailer here, especially here but you guys can see not too much damage here just some tire tracks from going up on the curb there but there we have it guys we got this in place here look at how nice this driveway is wow that turned out so well I'm super excited for that here but guys I think I'm probably gonna call it a day here I'm running low on camera battery and I do need to finish up so I have to hop in the cats here use a backhoe and uh, dig in the electrical uh, wire here I think it's from this side here yeah it's a box back there and then we have to bring the water to the road over here so let me get going on that so until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more